Okay, Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. Okay, so now in this video, we are going to discuss about chapter 5. So, chapter 5 is all about population genetics. Okay, so in this chapter, actually there are two subtopic. So, for subtopic 5.1, we call as gene pun concept. And another one subtopic 5.2, it is about Hardy-Weinberg law. Okay, so in this video, firstly, we are going to discuss first about gene pool concept. Okay, so first of all, uh, what is population genetics? So, actually, it is a study of how population genetics change genetically over time and also studies the change of frequency of alleles within a population. Okay, so actually secara ringkasnya, okay, this chapter sebenarnya dia adalah chapter di mana awak mesti kena tahu macam mana kita nak calculate, okay, the allele frequency and also the genotypic frequency in a population. Okay, and then uh, population genetic also will emphasize the genetic variation within a population. Okay, so first of all, uh, we look at uh, what is gene pool, okay, so kita tengok dekat sini so what is gene pool so gene pool is refer to total number of alleles at all loci in every individuals in a population ok so ni adalah gene pool so secara ringkasnya gene pool ni kita tengok kepada bilangan alleles yang ada pada setiap loci ok di dalam uh, setiap individu dalam sesuatu population ok and then a population share the same gene pool ok dia akan share gene pool yang sama ok so kalau kita tengok based on this diagram ok so let's say this is the example of gene for butterfly color so if you look at the color of the butterfly here ok so color yang ada adalah the red color and also the blue color butterfly so yang ni ni ok yang ni yang kita panggil sebagai gene pool so kita akan tengok dari segi total number of alleles ok yang ada di dalam uh, individuals dalam population butterfly ni ok so next we look at the allele frequency so what is allele frequency ok so allele frequency is refer to the ratio or proportion or percentage of total number of particular allele ok for the example here ok so macam yang kita dah discuss sebelum ni for allele kita ada dua ok two types of allele which are the first one we call as dominant allele so it is represent by Uh, for the example capital A another one adalah recessive allele for the example small a ok to the total of all alleles in a gene pool ok so let's look at the example first ok kalau kita tengok based on the gene pool here maksudnya yang ni adalah kita refer kepada population of the butterfly with two different color ok the red color butterfly and also the blue color butterfly ok so kita tengok dulu total number of blue butterfly here ok so total number of blue butterfly ok bila awak kira kita ada 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 So we have 10 butterflies for blue color And then for total number of red butterfly here We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Okay, 6 butterfly So the total number of all butterfly in this population is 16 Okay, and then if you look at the color of the butterfly Okay, actually the blue color is the dominant phenotype While the red color is the recessive phenotype So the dominant allele for blue color It is represent by, for the example, capital A While the recessive allele for the red color It is represent by small a Okay, so kalau kita tengok dekat sini uh, If the butterfly, okay, the genotype Sorry, the phenotype of the butterfly is blue color. So, its genotype will be either homozygous dominant or heterozygous. Sebab blue color ni adalah dominant phenotype. Why? If the butterfly is red color, so its genotype is homozygous recessive. Okay, so let's say if the equation asks you, okay, to find... The total number of alleles for color in this population. So, what is the total number of alleles for color in this population? So, how to identify the total number of alleles in this population? So, firstly, the keywords you find the total number of butterflies in this population first. So, bila kita cari tadi, kita dapat total number of all butterflies adalah 16. Okay, and then you have to times with... Two. Uh, so the answer of the total number of alleles for color in this population is 32 alleles. So kenapa jawapannya adalah 32 alleles? Because of what? Okay. Because each individual carry two alleles for a gene. Uh, contohnya kita ambil contoh yang ni lah. So kalau individu tu adalah homozygous dominant, so dia akan bawa dua alleles yang dominant. Kalau individu tu adalah heterozygous, so it will carry one dominant allele one recessive allele. Kalau individu tu adalah homozygous recessive, so it will carry two recessive allele. So that's why macam mana kita nak cari total number of alleles in this population? Okay, first you 
find the total number of individual first maksudnya bilangan butterfly dalam population ni adalah 16 and then awak kena darabkan dengan 2 so kita dapatlah 32 alleles ok so back to the alleles frequency ok so macam yang saya dah mention tadi what is alleles frequency so it is the ratio or proportion or percentage of total number of particular allele for the example ok uh, the dominant allele ok which is represent by capital A or the recessive allele which is represent by small a to the total of all alleles in a gene pool okay so let's say we look at the example here okay so how to calculate the allele frequency for dominant allele okay so dominant allele is represent by capital a okay so you write like this allele frequency for dominant allele comma a double dot okay so first of all if you look at the formula so total number of all LL, okay, capital A, maksudnya dominant LL over total number of all LLs, okay, in a population. Okay, so this is the formula how to calculate the LL frequency. So in this case, kita nak cari dulu LL frequency for dominant LL. Okay, so let's say if you look at the question here, okay, so in a population of 500 birds, the following genotypes was is, uh, investigated, okay, which is if you look at the uh, population here, so it has homozygous dominant individual, heterozygous and also homozygous recessive. Okay, so for homozygous dominant, okay, which is dia punya genotype adalah A besar, A besar. So, uh, the number of the individuals are 150 individuals. For heterozygous, A besar, A kecil. So, the number of individuals is 250 individuals and then for homozygous recessive okay a kecil a kecil so the number of the individuals are 100 okay so let's say if the question asks you to calculate the frequency of LL capital A and small a so means that for this question okay the minta awak cari the LL frequency for dominant LL and also recessive LL okay so kita dah tahu tadi okay untuk formula untuk dapatkan contohnya LL frequency for dominant LL Okay, so the equation or the formula total number of LL dominant which is the capital A over total number of all LLs in a population. Okay, so how to calculate, okay, for this equation. So, you can look at here. Okay, so kita akan nampak lah. Okay, so the solution is, so this is the uh, formula frequency of LL capital A. So, total number of LL capital A maksudnya kita refer kepada dominant LL in a population over total number of all LL in gene pool. So this is uh, you try to calculate the frequency of LL okay based on gene pool concept macam kita dah discuss tadi. Okay so macam mana kita nak dapatkan okay uh, the frequency of the dominant LL here okay so kalau kita refer okay back to the question tadi for homozygous dominant individu it has 150 individual maksudnya untuk uh, individu yang mana dia ada uh, LL dominant okey untuk homozygous dominant ni dia ada dominant LL sebanyak dua lah ha, satu A besar yang ni pun akan ada satu A besar so what you have to do is okey so that's why you have to uh, time to 150 individual tadi darabkan dengan dua kenapa sebab dia ada dua LL dominant Okay and then plus mana lagi kita akan dapat LL dominant adalah daripada individu yang heterozygous. So daripada individu yang heterozygous, okay bila kita tengok balik bilangan, okay heterozygous individual is 250. Okay so maksudnya untuk uh, individu yang heterozygous dia cuma ada satu sahaja dominant LL sebab kita nak cari frequency of uh, capital A LL here kan. So maksudnya awak tambahkan dengan 250. Okay, over total number of all LL in gene pool. So, macam mana kita nak cari? Okay, so semuanya akan bergantung kepada bilangan individu in this population. Maksudnya, 150 darabkan dengan 2 sebab satu individu akan bawa 2 LL. Okay, plus 250. Okay, time also with 2. Okay, plus 100 times with Ha, so dapatlah macam ni okay. So bila awak uh, calculate So you will get 550 over 1000 okay. So the answer is 0 0.55 okay. So this is for frequency of dominant LL Which is capital A And then macam mana kita nak kira frequency of recessive LL small A 
Okay, so based on the formula, actually dia adalah lebih kurang sama cuma kita tukarkan kepada recessive allele. So, total number of allele, uh, small a in a population over total number of all alleles in gene pool. Okay, so untuk allele small a, dia akan ada pada individu yang homozygous recessive and also heterozygous. So, total number of individu of... Uh, Homozygous recessive is 100. So, awak darabkan dengan 2 sebab satu individu akan carry 2 LL tambah okay, plus 250. Ah, So, this one ni kita akan ambil daripada individu yang mana dia adalah heterozygous. So, since untuk heterozygous individu, dia cuma akan carry satu saja recessive LL. So, just plus 250 over total number of all alleles in a gene pool which is 1000 ah sama macam tadilah so you will get 0.45 okay so kalau ikutkan biasanya untuk frekuensi of both dominant allele bila awak tambahkan dengan frekuensi of recessive allele awak akan dapat jumlahnya adalah 1 so kalau awak punya jawapan lebih daripada 1 maksudnya jawapan awak akan salah okay Okay, so next we look at the uh, gene pool concept again. Okay, so actually if you look at the composition of gene pool, it may change over time. Maksudnya dari segi composition of the gene pool, maksudnya kita lihat kepada dari segi the total number of alleles in a population, mungkin akan berlaku perubahan over time. Okay, so what happened? Change in allele frequency, actually it can change in gene pool. Maksudnya akan berlaku perubahan kepada gene pool. And then what happen, it will also change in genetic composition. So bila dari segi genetic composition is also change, so kita akan consider evolution telah berlaku. Okay, tetapi if there is no change in allele frequency from one generation to the next, so the gene pool is in genetic equilibrium. Maksudnya kalau allele frequency tidak berlaku laku perubahan dari satu generation kepada generation yang seterusnya so kita consider that gene pool is in genetic equilibrium so what is genetic equilibrium so it is a condition where gene frequency stay constant from generation to generation in population ok so kita tengok example dekat sini Okay, let's say genotype frequency for generation 1 is 0.2 and then the genotype frequency for generation 2 is also 0.2. Okay, so has the population reached genetic equilibrium? Why? Okay, so if you look at the example here, since the genotype frequency for generation 1 is same as genotype frequency for generation 2, so we consider this population reach genetic equilibrium. So the answer is yes. Okay, so why? Because the population, okay, reach genetic equilibrium because the genotype frequency, so you can look here, stay constant from generation to generation in a population. So, kita akan nampak dekat sini, macam mana kita nak consider, okay, sesuatu gene pool tu, reach genetic equilibrium bila sahaja tak berlaku perubahan dari segi gene frequency daripada satu generation kepada generation yang seterusnya. So, that's why kalau awak tengok based on the definition of the genetic equilibrium, okay, so it is refers to the condition where gene frequency stay constant. So, the keywords here is stay constant from from generation to generation in a population.